Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to take a look at a variation for white in the French defense that is very very interesting and rare. As a French defense player myself I hardly ever see white playing this so it's a very surprise attack that you can use against an opponent that is playing the French defense against you. I've been experimenting playing this as white and I recorded a video recently talking about this I'm going to leave the link here so you can watch it covering the main lines that I have been studying so far and today we're gonna take a look at this match played by no one then less than Hikaru Nakamura himself against Yasser Seirwan and in case you guys don't know Yasser is always in the St. Louis Chess Club videos he's commenting there he's a French defense expert so Hikaru won this game in just 30 moves so this shows the power of this variation which is very interesting as a surprise weapon against the French but before we begin, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, I will recommend you to just click the button down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. But without further ado, let's move right to the video. And here we have the game played, the match played between Hikaru Nakamura and Yasser Serwan. And here we have the match starting, of course, with E4. Hikaru is playing white and Yasser is a French defense expert. He knows how to play the French defense very, very well. And he went for the French defense against Hikaru. This game was played in 2016, so a long, long time ago. And Hikaru went for this very crazy move, F4. So you're playing on a like King's Gambit style, just pushing the pawn to F4 very boldly. You're not going for the, that typical D4 move. For the French defense, you are already surprising your opponent because this move is very rarely played. And uh, especially for blitz and bullet games or blitz and rapid games that are faster time controls, your opponent might not be prepared for a move like this one. And I believe, guys, I trust me, I am a French defense player myself. If they see this move like I saw it some times ago, I'm going to play in a French defense uh in a closed, you know, advanced variation style. So I'm gonna play this similarly to a, a, an advanced French defense. So um, your opponents are going to play like that. So what you're gonna do here after d5 is just push e5. That's the idea and the main line that I taught you guys in the previous video. And you're gonna see Hikaru playing the same exact ideas, the same exact moves in this match. He's gonna twist it a little bit so you can, you can see how to play it more or less. So the idea is, we want to play d4 here, but we want this pawn right here so we can have this very interesting pawn chain, this pawn pyramid supporting this very strong pawn here on e5, and we want to have our structure like this. But in order to do that, in order to push d4, we have to prepare it with moves like knight here, and then we're going to move this knight up, and then we are going to maneuver this knight over here, and then we can push safely so we can make sure that we're going to keep this very strong pawn chain Another typical move is to move this bishop right here, just in case this knight does a little trip and comes here or through this other uh, variation, so we can just get rid of this knight uh, later on. So here, Yasser played c5, again, like I told you guys, playing in a very uh, advanced French defense style. They're gonna go for the typical moves in the French advance, which is knight here, they're gonna play queen here, maybe bishop here, they're gonna play like this knight over here and here, or maybe here and here. These are the typical moves that they're gonna go for. They might try to castle short later on and then bring this rook here. So you're gonna see those typical moves from the French advance. Knight f3 will be played here, reinforcing this square so we can move it there. Uh, knight to c6. Typical move from the French defense and c3. This move is preparing a maneuver with the knight. So we're gonna play knight a3 and then knight c2 so we can support this push later in the future. So knight g to e7 here, played by Yasser. And uh, after knight a3, knight f5, we see this knight over here. So one of the ideas is to move this bishop over here so we can trade it later on and then push d4. Uh, knight to c2 was played, like I told you guys, that maneuver. And after h5, which is a kind of a different move from the, what we have seen before, never seen black playing this move yet, uh, Hikaru just played d3. And the idea here is this bishop here, more often than not, we're going to just trade for the knight. That's what Hikaru is going to do in the future. So after g6, completely compromising here the king side. So probably Yasser is not going to castle this way. 
and you can see that the king's gonna be stuck in the middle that's gonna uh, be the end uh, of the game actually the king will be vulnerable in the middle of the board Hikaru just castled and then after bishop to e7 he took the knight and after uh, Yasser captured the knight with the g-pawn you see it's probably not not a good idea to castle over here and maybe to castle at all for black not a really nice idea so Hikaru finally plays the move d4 which is the typical move we want to play here establishing this very strong pawn pyramid here in the center of the board if black ever wants to take which is probably going to happen here uh, you can just take back with the knight or with the pawn you have some choices here so after h4 Hikaru played takes and after bishop takes he just played e3 here developing this this final minor piece and now the bishops are staring at each other and then yes or just dropped the bishop back and then Hikaru just played h3 to prevent any further advancements here on this h file. b6 was played, queen to e2, and then uh, the knight went back here to b8. Queen to the open file, the half open file here. So it's a typical move here as well. Bishop to a6. And you can see that the moves are uh, becoming more like a middle game strategy now. It's not like the opening anymore, but you have this very strong pawn chain here. You have uh, a lot of control here and constricting the space from black. That's what Hikaru did in this game. So the maneuvering continues here and you're going to see that now uh, Hikaru is going to shift the game towards the, the, the queen side more now with pushing these pawns here on the A and B file. And he's going to shift the game towards that side of the board by playing B4 and A4. And after Bishop moves to C4, plays Knight and then b5 just pushing and gaining space here on the queen side and the position is pretty closed and uh yasser still has the the bishop pair but the knights are going to shine here this move nice to c6 it's it's extremely powerful just hitting the bishop here hitting everything this knight is a monster here there are no pawns that can uh you know attack it so this knight is basically uh there forever Picaro ever wants now he maneuvers the other knight uh, and starts pushing the pawns again. And after takes here, uh, Yasser takes and he starts maneuvering, maneuvering the knight again so he can bring that piece back to uh, a more active position. After knight to d4 is played here, hitting the queen, uh, Yasser played the losing move, queen to d7, allowing e6 to be played. And now it's just completely losing. We have the queen under attack. This knight is threatening to move with this covered check. This is just a crazy, crazy position for white, super winning, but it all comes from that starting position, that idea that we learned that uh, after e6 is played, instead of playing the typical move here, we surprise our opponents by playing f4, and then your opponents have no idea how to respond. They're going to go for the typical moves in like a closed, uh, sorry, um, French uh, advanced variation, where they're going to play their, their moves like this, maybe like this. And this knight might come here and here and then they're gonna castle short and that's i mean yasser just played some different moves but this is the typical thing you want to go for you want to develop your knight right here you want to prepare this advancement on d4 so you might push c3 and then move the knight here and here and then push d4 in the end might come uh, the bishop over here try to trade for the knight if the knight ever comes to this square castle short and you have a great game of chess to be played. So if you liked this video, guys, please remember to like the video, comment down below, maybe something you want to see in the channel and I still didn't cover. And as always, I see you guys in the next video.